All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Jota, and yes, I uh, mean this this thing with Kylian Mbappe is heating up every time we feel. We feel the Kylian Mbappe, we feel everything getting closer and closer and, and I don't know man, for any reason, I can't explain, but I really feel the Kylian Mbappe closer than ever. I don't know what is going to happen, maybe it has to do with the news, the information claiming that Kylian Mbappe will say something on Monday to um, al Khalifi. I don't know, maybe it's that. Okay, let me get started with the last bunch of news I wanted to deliver to you all today regarding to of course Kylian Mbappe the you know the big hug that Kylian Mbappe has gave to Leo Messi this morning but of course I wanted to talk to you all about something else because I don't know if you are aware already that La Liga and the investment firm CVC finally reached an agreement and has been approved I mean has passed the assembly of the different Spanish teams in La Liga so the agreement is going forward it's moving forward but I have some more good news for y'all and is this and it's about this agreement CVC the investment firm is willing to um, negotiate a kind of different deal with Real Madrid and FC Barcelona and putting aside the rights of streaming the rights for uh, televisions uh, rights and streaming la liga games and all the stuff completely aside of the agreement and let allow to real madrid and barcelona to negotiate these rights with whoever they want so the most important thing the big chunk the big money will be completely a part of this agreement and finally again i can say that florentino perez has won again i mean every time florentino perez says no to something it happens and when he says come on let's do it go ahead it happens as well so to me florentino perez right now again is in the top of the mountain man and there's nothing he can do he can do everything he wants and with this situation i mean with this last move from cbc from the cbc firm in my opinion he won again i mean this guy is nuts he knows how to do it he knows how to get everything he wants and to me is once again the smartest guy in the room so very good news for real madrid because we will be able to negotiate our rights for uh, television streaming and all the stuff with whoever we want next time uh, sorry next news we have here today okay in the practice in the training ground Carlo Ancelotti was trying a different possible starting 11 and let me tell you what let me I mean try to guess who was going to play I mean who played alongside Gareth Bale and Karim Benzema and who might be in the attack of Real Madrid the next Sunday next Saturday sorry against Alaves guess who okay let me tell you who Eden Hazard I know that you all were thinking about Rodrigo Goes coming into the starting 11 to the lineup being the most important player for Real Madrid the most important player for Carlo Ancelotti but no apparently Eden Hazard will be ahead of Rodrigo Goes in the lineup of the next Saturday against Alaves am I okay with that I mean am I accepting this decision from Carlo Ancelotti okay this is something that of course is up to Carlo Ancelotti but considering Rodrigo Goes was going to be one of the most arguably important players this season and considering the kind of performance we could see from him against Glasgow Rangers Rodrigo Goes really deserves to be in the lineup the next Saturday way ahead of Inan Hazard but for any reason or many for or sorry for many reasons we don't know Carlo Ancelotti has decided to put the Belgian player ahead of Rodrigo Goes. Whether the experience, whether the name, whether... I don't know, man. For any reason or for so many reasons, Carlo Ancelotti has decided to use Eden Hazard as the left winger in Real Madrid for the next lineup against Alaves. I mean, only the game, only the score will decide if Carlo Ancelotti was wrong or right. 
So I don't want to predict anything because I really support whoever it is, whoever is featured in this lineup of Real Madrid. But let me tell you what, my opinion is the same. Rodrigo Goes should be in the starting 11 of Real Madrid as of the next Saturday, as of the beginning of La Liga. Okay, so let's move forward now and let's keep going. Let's keep talking about all the controversies surrounding the hug, the big hug um, that Kylian Mbappe has gave to Messi this morning and that he also posted in his Instagram account, big account because a lot of people, many people out there, some of you all dropped me a lot of private comments, private messages sending me the picture and say, hey, look at this guy, he's hanging Leo Messi, uh, he's broke, his, I mean, he broke his silence, now he's decided to stay in PSG because it was, it was fake, it was not true, Kylian Mbappe really wants to play with Leo Messi, okay, let me tell you what, okay, don't, don't sell yourself so short, I mean, be careful with this, one thing is the courtesy, one thing is education, one thing is not to be rude, okay, and another completely different thing is the future of Kylian Mbappe. Because even if we see the Kylian Mbappe saying hi, being educated and being kind with Leo Messi, doesn't mean that he wants to stay in PSG. It really has nothing to do with that. Because on one hand, you can say, hey, Leo Messi, like, hey, how are you, man? I mean, how are you doing? Are you good? I mean, I'm so happy you uh, are here and things like that. And then on the other hand, on Monday, he might show up in the office of Al and say, hey, why the hell have you signed it to this player? Because I'm supposed to be the star. I'm supposed to be the number one. And now you are bringing into Leo Messi. What is going to happen to me? What is going to be my role in PSG? And things like that. You know what I'm saying? So just relax, man. Just keep the cool. Keep calm. In my opinion, this, I mean, this shouldn't be a controversy. It shouldn't be any drama around this hack between Leo Messi and Mbappe. It's just kindness, man. It's just being educated, being, you know, kind, being courteous. It's, it's courtesy, man. It's education. And, and, and Kylian Mbappe is the kind of person who is really elegant, who is really educated, who really doesn't want any kind of war, even with PSG, not only with Leo Messi, but PSG, Al Khalifi, whoever it is, the player, the person has shown over the last months, I would say even years, that he's very respectful and he doesn't want any kind of beef, any kind of drama with anybody. Doesn't mean at the same time he's going to say, okay, now I'm going to stay because Leo Messi is going to play here, so I'm going to stay here. Doesn't mean has nothing to do with that. So everybody relax. Everybody relax, keep calm, keep cool, man, because nothing has changed for that super hug between Leo Messi and, of course, Kylian Mbappe. Okay, so let me move forward and finish this video talking about the latest news that came out from Ser Deportivos, Cadena Ser in Spain, claiming that Real Madrid has already ready to go the 120 million offer the 120 million deal for Kylian Mbappe that they will throw on the table of PSG as soon as apparently next week or even Monday. Real Madrid is not willing to pay beyond that number. If so, I mean, if PSG, if Al Khalifi decides to say no to 120 million euros, then Real Madrid would say, okay, we're okay with that, but we are not going to upgrade this offer, so we will wait for 2022 uh, to sign Kylian Mbappe for free. Ojo, pay attention. This is just information from Carousel Deportivo and Ser Deportivos, right? So it has nothing to do with me. I'm just uh, translating to you all what they are saying, what they are claiming, but maybe they are so wrong, and then we'll see, we will see how Kylian Mbappe might say on Monday to Al Khalifi that he wants out, he wants to quit, or even maybe we might see how Real Madrid upgrade the offer and at the end of the day, maybe in the last moment say, okay, let's put 150 on the table because I think that the player is something that is really worth it. Uh, paying such amount of money for that is something that it is important. You know what I'm saying? So be careful with that. But apparently Real Madrid is willing to pay 120 for Kylian Mbappe, not 
even close to the 200 million some people in England were claiming one month ago saying that Real Madrid was willing to put on the table about 200 million euros. That is not going to happen. And of course, Kylian Mbappe is in the last year contract, so there's no point in paying beyond 120, 150 for the French player. So now let me know your thoughts about that. Just comment in the section below and of course subscribe to my channel, Real Madrid Hub.